I am continuing to work through these exercises. These are some exercises that go along with the Feynman lectures. They're on the Caltech website, uh, and the, the questions are posted there, the answers are posted there. I haven't looked at the questions, I haven't looked at the answers, so I'm just going to solve these uh, the best I can. Uh, I'll link the site down below. I will also link uh, my solutions to the other questions that I've done so far. So I've done this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, I'm right here on boat time. So let's get into it. It says right here, here's an interesting and practical problem given to me by my brother-in-law. Okay, so that's a hint, I think. Suppose your boat is anchored near the shore of a channel, so just a river, in which there is a steady current, and you are planning to run to a dock directly across the channel to the opposite shore. There are two ways one might steer the boat. The crabbing method, steer the a steady course with the nose pointed somewhat upstream. Okay, so this is the this is the problem that we would do in introductory physics, right? What angle do you have to aim at so you go straight across the thing? <clears throat> and we'll do that in a second. The pointing method, keep the nose of the boat pointed directly at the dock. So here, <clears throat> I'm going to aim straight across. Um, of course, that will make me move upstream, but then as I move upstream, I turn it uh, towards that point. And so the question is, which method gets a boat to the dock faster and by how much? Um, so that's, I think, another hint, right? Uh, by how much? Which one gets to the dock faster? If they're the same, then, then I mean, I wouldn't write that. Okay. Assume the boat runs at constant speed, which is faster than what? Okay. So there's two hints that, there's three hints that suggest that this is faster. Um, one, the question said, and practical. Uh, Two, this seems like the obvious answer, so I think that's it. Uh, these, some of these questions are like tricks, and I don't think that's great. I mean, there's probably some trick to solving this. Right off the top of my head, I can see how a component of your velocity has to be across the, has to be in the direction of the current to, to cancel that, and so that would leave you less velocity going straight across. Now, in this case, you don't necessarily do that, but you definitely go a longer distance. But I'm thinking right here, like up here, this, you're going to have to point more upstream than you would right there because you've got to get back to that point. So, I mean, if, if I had to say, I would say that's the fastest. If my second guess would be that they're the same, there is, there has to be some trick because I'm going to do this with Python. Um, <clears throat> but this is not a Python question. So there's got to be some trick. And that, that makes me a little bit... Not completely happy. I don't, I'm not a big trick fan. Okay, so let's just let's just start off with this. Let's let's do the the uh, the crabbing method. Okay, so this has the crabbing method like this. My lights tilted. There we go. Okay, so here's my river. Some distance d, and then there's my start and there's my finish, uh, and then I have this is the Velocity, this is the x and the y direction. And this is the velocity of the water with respect to the ground. And let's give it a value of, I'm going to say 0 0.500 meters per second. I just picked a value, half a meter per second. And this is the way I like to write vectors, x, y, and z components, and that's a vector. Now, I also have the velocity of the boat with respect to the water. The velocity of the boat with respect to the water the magnitude of that I have to pick. Let's pick uh, three meters per second because I don't know the direction. Now what I do know is I want the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. And here's your relative velocity equation, which personally I don't really like this because I think it's a little too advanced for uh, like algebra-based physics courses, but it's in every book. So I'm going to write it like this. The velocity of the boat with respect to the ground, vector, is equal to the velocity of the boat with respect to the water vector plus the velocity of the water with respect to the ground vector. And the thing to remember is that it, when you write these indices like this, uh, these indices uh, have to match up and then they, they kind of cancel. So I get boat ground because of water. It's a stupid thing, but that's the way it works. Okay, so let's solve for this problem uh, how long it takes to go straight across. Uh, and let's say D is 10 meters. Um, 
<clears throat> so what do I know in this case? Well, I know the velocity of the water. I know the velocity of the boat with respect to the water, the magnitude of that, but I don't know the actual vector value. Um, I know actually that I want the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground to be in just the y direction. So right there, I know that the velocity of the boat with respect to the water uh, x direction has to be equal to negative 0.5 meters per second. So that when I add these two, the x components are going to cancel. Now, I also know that uh, VBW magnitude is going to be equal to the square root of VBW x squared plus VBW y squared. And I know that's equal to 3. So I can solve this for the y velocity. So I'm going to square both sides. So VBY WY squared equals 9 minus that squared, which is 0 0.5 squared. And then I just take the square root, and that's my x minus my y velocity. Okay, so I don't really care about the number. I'm going to do the number in a little bit. But once I find that y velocity, then I can just model this. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to say v, I can find the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. VBG is going to be equal to delta RG delta T. And that's the change in position with the change in time. So I can break this into small time steps, which I'm going to have to do in the second part. So it's going to be R2 minus R1 over delta T. And then I can find R2, which is the position of the boat at the end of the first time interval, which is R1 plus VB ground delta T. And then I just keep doing that for, until it gets to the other side. OK, what about the pointing method? <clears throat> What's going to be different there? Well, I'm going to point. So I do know something. Let's just go right here. Here's my. This is start. Finish. And the question is, what's the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground? So I'm going to draw it as an arrow. So at this point, well, actually, I want it to be like this, pointed towards the finish. So at some particular point, how would I find that velocity? So I can again say the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground is the velocity of the boat with respect to the water, which I can find the direction of, but not the, and, and I know the magnitude, right? I can find the direction by saying it has to point towards that, plus the velocity of the water with respect to the ground. Okay, so this I can do. So let's say this is the vector RB. That's the position of the boat. And this is uh, <clears throat> RF, the finish location. I'll put the start at the origin. Then this vector right here uh, will be called R aim. And it's going to be RF, the final position, the final, minus, that's an F, minus R, RB. So I can find that vector. And I need that, right? Because now if I have that vector, I can find the unit vector in that direction. I can say r aim hat is going to be equal to r aim over the magnitude of r aim. And why do I care about that? Because now once I know the aiming direction, I can find the velocity of the boat with respect to the water. Velocity of the boat with respect to the water is going to be uh, 3 meters per second, I put that in, prevent, in absolute value, times r aim. So if I multiply it by this unit vector, I will get a vector. <clears throat> and then after that, I can just do the same thing. Uh, r, I guess I'm calling it rb. I use rb2 equals rb1 plus vbg. Okay, so I need to find that. But then I'm just adding in this velocity of the water respects to the ground, which I know. Uh, delta t. <clears throat> and then every time I redo it, every time I move it, I need to recalculate our aim, recalculate the velocity vector, and so forth. And then we can model the motion. That I think that should work. OK, <clears throat> let's jump into Python and model this in Python. And it'll be nice because we, we can make it appear to look like something. Where are my previous? Oh, there it is. It's underneath there. OK, so I'm going to do this one first because uh, it's easier and because it's first. Okay, so let's jump over to Python. I'm going to be using uh, uh, GlowScript 
vpython, web vpython, has many names now, and I think that's awesome. Uh, and, and so this is a Python with some built-in libraries to make some visual objects, and I think that's pretty nice. Um, and it also has built-in vector classes, which is cool, uh, built-in graphing and all that stuff. But let's just make some objects. Um, okay, so let's say uh, V, I'm just going to give some constants here, V water ground equals vector 0 0.500. I already said that. Uh, D is equal to 10. That's the distance across. Um, the magnitude of the boat's velocity, so V, B mag, is going to be 3. Okay, that's good. Okay, so <clears throat> let's put the water first. So water equals uh, a box. I mean, I want to draw the water. It's going to, its position is going to be equal to vector uh, 0, 0, negative 0.5. So, so I'm going to do a three-dimensional thing here, and I'm going to put it into the page a little bit just so it will be below the objects on to move the objects and stuff like that. Um, the size is going to be a vector. Uh, let's say it's going to be it's 10 across. That's in the y direction. Um, <clears throat> so let's put, let's make it look like a river. So let's say 20, 10, and then 1. And the color it's going to be color.blue, and I'm going to put this opacity equals 0 0.5. So it's partially transparent. It's water, right? It should be transparent. Okay, let's run that. And there's my water. And you see it is, it is water. That's water. It's not moving, okay? Uh, let's see. What's this called? The name of this problem was the boat, boat time. Boat time 1. Okay, so now I'm going to put the dock. Uh, so I'm going, to, I'm going to make those next. So start equals sphere. Position equals vector. Now, I did say I did say that was going to be at zero. So let's just move, let's put this at vector uh, zero, zero, zero. Uh, radius equals um, one. And we won't put, it will just leave it as great. Now, but to do that, I want to move this so that if it's 10 in the y direction, I'm actually going to put this at negative 5. No, at 5. So that'll, it'll shift the whole thing up, and then that way my start will be at the origin there. Okay, so that's kind of big. Uh, let's make that a little bit smaller, uh, 0.5. Okay, that looks good. Now let's put the finish. Finish equals sphere. Position is going to be equal to vector 0, uh, D, I guess I should say this. Uh, th this, should, this would be D over 2. That way we can change this. D. The position is going to be vector 0, D, 0. And the radius is also 0 0.5. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so, now, let's make the boat. Boat 1. It's also a sphere, and its position is the start. Its uh, radius is, it'll be the same. Let's say 0 .0, 0 0.7. Color equals color dot yellow. Let's make it red. And make trail equals true. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm looking at my thing. I need, I need, uh, I have the velocity of the water with respect to the ground. I need the velocity of the boat with respect to the water. And I've already calculated that. So let's say the velocity of the boat with respect to the water is going to be, uh, actually do this. Yeah. Velocity of the boat with respect to the water is going to be vector. Um, v w g dot x. The negative that, right? We already said that. And then the y component is going to be uh, the square root of vb mag squared minus vwg dot x vwg dot x squared. Yeah, 
And that's the y component, the z component zero. Okay, now I can say uh, v uh, boat one dot v, the velocity with respect to the ground is gonna be v b water plus uh, v water ground. Yeah. And now I can model it. T equals zero, dt equals 0 0.01, uh, while v boat one dot pos dot y is less than uh, less than finish dot y do the following number one I don't need to recalculate the velocity the velocity is already there actually let me go up here uh, b1 arrow equals arrow uh, position equals boat one dot pos axis equals uh, boat one dot v color equals color dot yellow I might need to scale that, so let's put a scale right here. I'll put this as S. S, and then say S equals one. So the the arrow, the velocity vector, I'm gonna draw it as an arrow, and, and that I'm drawing it in distance. So if it's too big, that's a problem. Okay, so now I can go over here, rate 100. So this just says do it in real time, which is probably gonna be too slow, but uh, that's fine. Let's do rate uh, 500, five speed. Okay, so the number one's, I already have the velocity, so I just need to move the boat. Boat1.pos equals boat1.pos plus uh, boat1.v times dt. Now, I do need to move the arrow, so b1arrow.pos equals boat1.pos. I don't need to move the axis because it didn't change, but I do need to update time. t equals t plus dt, and then I'm going to say print. T1 equals T seconds. And let's run that. Something happened. Object.y is not supported. Did you mean? <laughs> it is so good. Yes, that is exactly what I meant. Thank you. Is that big enough? Um, that's... Let me run that at two speed. It doesn't look like it's tilting down. Let's print. That's weird. Print boat dot boat one dot v. Huh? Zero. Oh, that is right. Right. I want to. I want to make the velo. I want to make this the. Uh, not boat one dot v. I want to make it uh, this b the the v b w. The velocity with respect to the water. Yeah. Yeah. Now you can see how it's aiming. Okay. Good. Cool. 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 Okay. <clears throat> that that seems like it works. Now let's make another boat. Um, boat. Two, I guess I should put it in the same spot. Oh, this should be red. It's a red arrow. <clears throat> Boat two equals sphere. Position equals same thing as other. Start dot pos. Start dot pos. Radius equals zero point seven. Color equals color dot yellow. And make trail equals true. <clears throat> um, now what about the velocity? So the initial velocity I'm going to name straight across. So I'm going to say uh, boat 2 dot v equals v w ground plus vector v b mag zero zero. So that's going to aim it straight across, right? It's aiming straight across, but it's not moving straight across. Um, <clears throat> I kind of feel like my, my I want to increase this to one. Uh, and I'm going to run it to second. But then I need to, um, oh, I need my arrow, B2 arrow equals arrow, position equals boat2.pos, axis equals S times 
Uh, ve I guess for right now, vector. <clears throat> let's just call. Let's make this a variable because I'm going to be changing that. So let's go up here and say velocity of the boat with respect to the water, boat two, with respect to the water is this. And then put velocity boat to water. And then I'll just put over here, velocity boat to water. Okay. And that, I'm not going to update that. I just want to see what this looks like with the increased um, Let's make it a little bit faster, 1.5. Make it more interesting. Okay, I'm pretty happy there. Uh, this one is wrong. Look at that, it's going straight upstream. So, VB2 is, oh, it's going straight across. So this should be zero. But it looks like, huh. It looks like the red arrow's larger. So there's a problem there because, uh, let's print this. Oh, that's the velocity of the boat with respect to the uh, print uh, mag velocity of the boat with respect to the water. It should be three. If it's not three, I made a mistake. It's not, see? Okay, so the velocity of the boat with respect to water is negative the x of that square root of that minus nine I did cubed look at that I was thinking three in my head okay now they're the same awesome okay <clears throat> uh, B the color equals yellow Okay, um, that's fine. Let's just let's just run this. Um, I'm gonna run them in the same time. It won't give me the time difference right right away. We can fix that. Okay, so now what I want to do is to calculate that vector r aim. R aim is gonna be like I said, uh, the finish position finish dot pos minus boat two dot pos. Now I can use that. I'm looking at my solutions over here. And I can calculate uh, R B two water. No V B V B two water is going to be equal to V B mag times norm R aim. So R norm it returns a unit vector in Python. So I don't have to do that. Uh, the vector divided by the magnitude. It's already done. But then I have V B two. Now I can say uh, boat. 2 dot v is going to be equal to the same as was before velocity of the water with respect to the ground plus the velocity of the boat with respect to the water and now i can update the position of the boat so i can say boat 2 dot pos is boat 2 dot pos plus boat 2 dot v times dt now i need to move the arrow b2 arrow equals dot pos equals boat to dot pos and then i need to update the direction b2 arrow dot axis is equal to s which i still have to as one times vb to w okay let's see if this works i guess should save it okay so according to this one that doesn't look like it's symmetric, which that's fine. Uh, two, the red one won. So going straight across one, which is what I said originally, right? Um, okay, let's just, <clears throat> let's just increase this velocity of the water to something extreme like two. See, it looks like, it looks like that one's gonna win, but then at the end, it has to go almost all the way upstream uh, and it just can't catch up. Uh, let's put this at uh, 2.5. Let's go extreme, and then we'll go we'll go D stream. See, 
it gets across, but it can't get back upstream to the point. Okay, now if I put this at something like uh, 0.5, It still looks like a lost, right? It still looks like a lost. So I guess it better go straight across. And and it's surprising to me because I was prepared to be surprised in the opposite way. So the fastest way is indeed, according to this, to go straight across. Okay, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna uh, give a link to the playlist with all my solutions so far. I'm gonna keep doing these. Uh, the code for this problem is down below too, so you can play with it. And you know, this is in 3D, right? See, it's a 3D water. That's kind of cool. Um, and and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Uh, let me put this back at something cool like uh, 2. I think that one's more interesting. But that's the first thing I see right there, is that the picture they drew, uh, I'm pointing at the screen now, that yellow curve was symmetric, but it's not symmetric. So, okay, well, that's it. That's the boat time problem. Hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. Surprising result. I'll see you in the next problem.